It's super early. We're going to the airport, Reykjavik airport, because we're going to fly domestically from Reykjavik to Akureyri with Iceland Air. And we're going to be in a northern winter paradise. Red light and speed camera ahead. <laughs> Thank you, car. <laughs> Thank you, car. Welcome to Akureyri. I love this place. It feels like being abroad, but you're nice. So guys, we are in the north. We flew here with Iceland Air from Reykjavik, probably around 40 minutes. Simple, easy, you're in another world. The north of Iceland is obviously known for its winter activities. You have more snow than in the south. We have loads of winter activities planned, which I'm very excited to go for. Our first stop is going to be at a farm called Lietingsstadi. We're going to go horseback riding. I don't know if you guys remember this. Your horse is just farting all the time. My horse is farting a lot and it all just goes straight into Rurik's face. <laughs> Are you feeling back there, Rurik? Your horse <laughs> farts. Constantly! <laughs> I hope that's not gonna be the case this time, but uh, <laughs> let's go there. <laughs> I can't say that I'm thinking about anything else than just being right here right now, and I love that. How's it going? stable guys not too much room for the horses back in the days but they probably felt good here anyway welcome to Söðarkrókur here we have the museum of the last battle of the Vikings I'm gonna go inside dress up like a Viking and fight in the battle through virtual reality The Icelandic parliament was founded in 930. Somehow, 300 years later, we had a proper civil war for 40 years, where everybody was basically fighting everybody. The history is certainly interesting. We call it the last battle of the Vikings, and I'm gonna go and dress up like one and fight in the battle. Let's see how we're gonna do it. To understand the Vikings, you gotta find your inner Viking. I like this one. Do you have this one in large? <laughs> this is a dress. <laughs> so the Vikings were wearing dresses. <laughs> John Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. He was wearing one of those. Made here. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Sometimes the weather may be good, sometimes the weather may be shit. We're in Tintastok, which is the name of this mountain. This is the ski area of Söðarkrókur. Eh, the weather is a bit tricky. This is the beauty of it though. We gotta embrace it. We're gonna go up with the Rodari. We're dressed well, we're ready for everything pretty much. So, uh... As you can see, the weather isn't great. When you come to Iceland, travel responsibly because the 
weather here is unpredictable, so please respect the weathers here. It's freezing cold, but it's so refreshing. Woo! So we managed to snowboard down. The thing is, we were right at the top. And it was pretty windy, too windy actually. Talking about unpredictable weathers in Iceland, we simply waited a few minutes and it cleared up a little bit. So we managed to snowboard down, so I'm happy. Thanks to this guy, Siki, took us up on this monster machine. Nothing better than going to the swimming pool after a snowboarding amazingness. Is it safe? We're going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clearing the way. <laughs> Look at this. Hopso swimming pool. Brand new swimming pool. Ah oh, yes. Wow, this view. My job is not only fun and games, it's also hard work and honest work. Segut 67, brewery, let's have a beer. In the town of Siglufjörg, there is a brewery, a small family company called Segut 67. A lot of people confuse it with Seagull, but it's got nothing to do with that bird. It means magnet. Let's find out how they brew their amazingly good beer. think of a better way to finish off this fantastic 